Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's design 4-way pipe connector and 3-way pipe connector in cryoparametric. So let's get started. Now these pipe connector can be with the same pipe diameter or it can be with the different pipe diameter. Now when you see this connector from the front view, it looks like this. And to design these connectors, I will use surfacing here. So let's start the part. And for this, first you go to new, part, solid, assign the name, uncheck use default template and say ok. Now from here you select a proper part template, so I will go with this template, this is a metric template, millimeter kilogram second and say ok. Now here I am designing 4 way pipe connector, so I will start with a simple sketch onto the top datum plane, sketch, normal, switch off all the datums and then you draw 4 lines just like this. Try to make all equal, just like this. So I have 4 line segments here with the equal length. Length I will consider as 100 and I will say ok. Now this sketch I will use to create 4 sections and for that first I will create 4 datum planes. So select this point hold the control key and select this curve, flip the direction and say ok. One more time plane, this point hold the control key and select this curve, say ok. Again datum plane, this time you select this point, hold the control key and this curve. One more time, this time you select this point, hold the control key and select this curve. So I have created 4 datum planes here and for the time being I will just hide these 3 datum planes and I will switch on all the datums. So I have created these 4 datum planes here. Now I will select this plane and I will go for sketch, normal. Now here first I will draw 3 center lines, 1 vertical and 2 angular and then I will draw 1 circle. Divide this circle into 4 segments just like this. Now make this point and this point symmetric. Now the dimension. So this angle will be 45 degree and the radius of this circle will be 60. Now say ok. So first section is done, now the second section, for that I will select this plane, I will go for sketch. Now draw the center line first, so draw a vertical center line and then two angular center line, just like this. Then draw a circle, just like this, break this circle into four segments. Just like this, make uh, this point and this point symmetric with this. Now the dimension, so the angle is 45 degree, so make it 45 and the radius is 60, say ok. Similarly third section, so I will select this datum plane and I will go for sketch. Make it normal, draw center line first, like this, then like this and like this. Then draw a circle, break the circle into four segment, then make this point and this point symmetric. Now the dimension, so again this angle will be 45 degree 
and the radius of the circle will be 60. Say OK. So the third section is done. Now the fourth section. So I'll select this datum plane and once again I'll go to sketch normal. Now draw the center line carefully. So this time you draw like this. And then you draw a circle. Break the circle like this. Then make this point and this point symmetric. Now the dimension. So the angle will be 45 degree and the radius of the circle will be 60. Say OK. Control D. So all the sections are done. Now I'll go for boundary blend. I'll switch off all the datums. Move your cursor here. Just right click and select this segment. Hold the control key. Same way, just move your cursor here. Right click and select this segment. Now here you right click and just say normal. Here also you can right click and you can say normal. So you have a variety of options here, free, tangent, normal and curvature. So to select tangent, this surface must be created through the edge of the surface. So here I don't have the edge, here I am creating this surface using the sketch. So I will go for normal, say ok. Similarly you create a blend surface all around. So move your cursor here. Just right click and select the segment. Again hold the control key, move your cursor here, right click and select the segment. Same thing, make it normal and this also you make it normal. Say OK. Again boundary blend. Move your cursor here, right click, select this segment. Hold the control key, move your cursor here, right click and select this segment. Again normal. This also normal. Okay. One more time boundary blend, move your cursor here, right click, select the segment, hold the control key, move your cursor here, right click, select the segment. Normal and normal. So here I am using normal, for the next model I will use tangent. So all boundary blends are done. Now the next surface I will create using style. So go to style, surface and then you select this edge, hold the control key, then select this, then this, 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 then this, then this and then this. So the surface is generated. Now this arrow, this is the tangent arrow, so if you right click here. You can see that it is tangent. So this surface is tangent here, this surface is also tangent here. Here also it is tangent and here also it is tangent. Just say OK. Now say OK. Similarly this side. So same style feature you can again modify and one more time you go to the surface. Again here you select this edge first, hold the control key, select this, 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 this and this. See again you are getting the surface, tangency, just say ok. Surface created, both the side, say ok. So both the surfaces are within one feature. Now we will just extrude the sections. So select this sketch, go for extrude, surface, ok. Next sketch, extrude, surface, ok. Again this one, surface, ok. Select this, extrude, surface, ok. So all the surfaces are created. Now merge these surfaces and for that first you go to quilt 
and then select these quills one by one by holding the control key. And go for merge. Okay. Now you select this merge and go for thicken. Thickness inside. Thickness, I will consider 10. And I will say okay. And the part is done. So now if you go to analysis and go for reflection analysis, select all these surfaces by holding the control key now you can see the reflection say ok so now the part is done now if you change the die of these sections so let us make it 75 It updates like this. Let us make it 70. So, like this, you can even change the diameter of the pipes and it will update. Now, let us design three way pipe. So, for that, once again go to new part solid, assign the name. And check use default template and say ok. Select the proper part template and say ok. Now this time we are designing three way pipe. So again I will start with the sketch onto the top datum plane, sketch normal. Now here I will draw the three line segment just like this. I will make all equal and then I will add the angle. So, the angle will be 120 degree and the length again I am considering 100 and say ok. Now, once again I will create three datum planes just like that. So, I have created three datum planes. I will just hide these three datum planes and I will switch on all the datums. So, I have like this. Now, I will draw the section. So, I will go with this sketch normal. Now, here also same thing. First, I will draw the center lines just like this. Then I will draw the circle. I will divide the circle into four segment. I will make it symmetric and then I will add the dimension. So, 45 degree and then this radius I will add as 60 and I will say ok. Similarly, This datum plane sketch normal, draw the center line first, a vertical and then two angular, then draw the circle, divide the circle just like this, make it symmetric, then add the dimension angle will be 45 degree and radius will be 60. Say ok. Then the last section, select this plane, go for sketch, normal. Draw the center line first. So, this time I will draw center line like this and like this and like this. Draw a circle. 
divide the circle and then make it symmetric. Now add the dimension. So, this is 45 degree and then the radius is 60. Say ok. Now, this time I will directly go to the sketch, extrude it as surface and I will say ok. Same thing you do with all the sections. and then you go for boundary blend. So, go for this edge, hold the control key and select this edge. This time you are creating this blend surface using this surface and this surface. So, you can easily go with the tangent. Both side I am doing tangent and say ok. Similarly, one more time blend, this time select this edge hold the control key and select this edge. Again right click tangent, right click tangent, ok. Boundary blend, this edge, hold the control key and this edge. Right click tangent and right click tangent. So, this is done. Now, to fill this gap again go for style, surface, Select this edge, hold the control key, then select this, 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 this and this. Say ok. Same with this side, surface, this edge, hold the control key, this, 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 this and this. Ok. And say ok. Again go for quilt, select these quilts one by one, and go for merge. Now select this merge and go for thicken. Flip inside, take thickness as 10 and say ok. And the pipe is done. Now, if you check the reflection, you get reflection like this. Now, if you change the diameter, just make it 75 it get updated. You can just modify this, make it 70, it updates. So, this is how you can design these pipe connectors using surfacing in Creo parametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now, you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.